the Gyro Marine, where we have a GM600 gyroscope on the test stand. This is the third in the range of four gyroscopes produced by Gyro Marine. It is currently the largest and most capable gyroscope available. We also have a model gyro with a hull that we'll use to demonstrate Gyro Marine's unique active drive. The gyroscope comprises a rotor in blue, which is driven by an electric motor. The rover assembly is mounted in a gimbal frame so that it is free to move in the fore and aft direction. In the initial instant, the gyro will be free to respond naturally. When the hull rolls, we see the gyroscope move. The rover assembly is pitching, but the stabilisation is in roll. As the gyroscope moves, we experience resistance to roll. This is the basic operation of any gyroscope. It's a technique that has been successfully deployed by a number of producers. The more vigorous the roll, the more the gyro moves. However, if we wish to now apply the same approach to a hull that rolls at a long period, as would be the case with a large ship, the gyroscope does not always move. We also see the gyro fails to respond to very low roll. So I can learn how to Instead, we drive the gyroscope, we can continue to realise full output, even with very low roll motion. This is what active drive does. Inside this hull is a motion sensor that measures the roll, calculates the idea response, and commands an electric motor to move the gyroscope. Immediately, we see the gyro is moving where it was not previously. To long periods of motion, to small angles of motion, and to short vigorous motion. If we stop the movement of the gyroscope by switching to standby, we see the stabilisation stops, switch back to active, and the automatic stabilisation resumes. The effect is immediate.